What's up, Internet? So today what we're going to do is talk about two different types of coatings that I'm using for this latest mural that you're seeing me paint right now. I'm basically coating it with a UV coating and then an anti-graffiti coating by a company called the Urban Restoration Group. They make an amazing product called Mural Shield as well as the world's best graffiti removal product. So we're gonna talk about those two products today and why I've been using those two products to actually protect my murals. So when you're out there doing project for yourself or for different clients you can have a way to protect those murals because one of the hardest things to do is not make the mural and paint it and install it but maintain it so that's what we're going to do today we're going to talk about those two products let's get started so right now what I have in front of me is the world's best graffiti coating and the mural shield which allows you to protect your murals from the UV rays and the graffiti coating basically protects it from tags and things like that. So basically the mural shield is the, what you have to put on first. I ordered a ton, you can get them in the one gallon, the quart or the five gallon bucket. I got the five gallon as well as a ton of the one gallons, um, mainly because I wanted to make sure I had a ton in stock, but it protects it from the UV sunlight and graffiti. So basically Basically, it's uh, sort of like a great protection when it comes to making your colors last. And then the World's Best Graffiti Coating really protects it and provides a film or a shield from, you know, things like tag. If people sort of uh, spray paint on top of your piece, you are able to easily just power wash it off with hot water or cold water and a solvent solution that sort of breaks down that paint. But you can kind of see the mural shield is really clear, whereas the world's best graffiti coating has like a creamy sort of color. But when you spray it on, basically it sprays on and dries transparent. So that's great as well. And along with these two coatings, I also get myself a sort of pesticide sprayer from Home Depot. This is about 17 bucks. It's really great because it has the extension pole and the cord so that you can hold it in one hand and then use the sprayer to sort of spray in odd angles. And then the other one, which is a little bit smaller, but it's just as good. You just have to get really close to the wall as well. I found that the one with the cord is a little bit better because some of the backsplash from the coating uh, is less likely, likely to land on you. So that overspray, that sort of dust in the air will not get into your face. So this is one where I'm like, you definitely have to have these sort of pesticide sprayers because it's easy to apply these just with the pesticide sprayer. You don't have to have a roller or a sprayer. On the first day, what I wanted to do was to prep the wall and this wall is a wall that, you know, the owners let me paint up so they don't really uh, worry too much about the paint peeling, but I was worried about the paint peeling. So I went back and actually used an adhesive to seal in some of those cracks because I didn't want that to flake off because even if I do put the graffiti coating and the mural shield, if the paint just flakes off, it doesn't really matter how much coating I put on there. So I went there first and actually added a adhesive to a lot of the cracks so it doesn't crack anymore. And then some of the cracks that are already there um, sort of stays on because like I said this wall is fall falling apart so I wanted to make sure that it stays uh, together as much as possible. And on this first day I put on the UV coating, the mural shield that protects it from the UV rays just to make sure there was time in between me putting in the UV coating and what I'm putting on now the anti-graffiti coating because I wanted to make sure that UV coating dried as much as possible and they were both easy to put on because the consistency of the coating is sort of consistent like milk in a way so it's easy to spray on basically putting in the pesticide sprayer pumping it and then really just getting started so I started from right and then going left but I brought about two gallons and it goes on super super smooth it goes on really clear so as I'm actually applying the coating sometimes you can't even tell that it's on there unless you're really really close up on it you can kind of see where there's a, a layer that's really wet and it's about to dry but it dries super transparent so I forgot to talk a little bit about the cost so the anti-graffiti coating is about $70 per gallon and the UV coating, the mural shield, is about $100 per gallon. And you have to order it online. I think you can pick it up if you're close by the warehouse in uh, California, but 
Uh, it does cost another sort of, I believe, 30 bucks for the hazard fee when you're mailing it um, because it does have to be shipped uh, if you're not picking it up and that does cost a little bit extra. So I would say definitely take that into account, order a ton of it so that you're accounting for just the shipping cost. And one thing that I found was that this solution, this coating spreads really, really far. It didn't take long to sort of cover an area, even though this is a very textured wall net not super textured but textured enough it did get into all the little cracks and because it's so i guess it's watery in terms of the consistency it got into all those little nooks and crannies so it did cover a lot of area for you know this size and anywhere that i put it on really heavy that was sort of dripping a little bit or streaking a little bit i brought a roller just to make sure that i rolled that out and then i continued with another coat of the anti-graffiti coating so i really wanted to make sure this was protected so i went back and forth back and forth in different areas as it dried up one important piece of information for this anti-graffiti coating is that it is a sacrificial coating i did a video on this a little bit ago explaining the difference between non-sacrificial anti-graffiti coating and sacrificial anti-graffiti coating the basic difference is when you're power washing the wall and you're power washing an anti-graffiti coating that's sacrificial, it will peel off. So that layer is going to peel off with the actual tag that you sort of trying to power wash off. So you have to recoat it every time you power wash it off. A non-sacrificial anti-graffiti coating will stay on uh, even after you power wash it off. So it's very permanent. So this one is sacrificial. So after every sort of power washing or I'm cleaning things off, I have to make sure that I reinforce that sort of covering, that sort of film with another coating of this anti-graffiti coating. So it does take a little bit more work for this one, but it's really good just to make sure that anything that lands on top of this after I coat it will be eliminated if I do want to power wash it off. So that's one um, piece of information I wanted to make sure that you guys had about this coating. So in the end, I put about two to three layers in many of the different areas, especially around the face, different areas where I wanted to make sure that I didn't want to have to go back over because it, was, it would be difficult to sort of recreate that if I had to paint it over again. So I wanted to make sure there was a ton of layers of that coating there and I put a lot where it was accessible to people because I wanted to make sure that those areas were very very much so protected and the last thing that I did was just wash out the pesticide sprayer with water mainly because that film that anti graffiti coating uh, I didn't want that to sort of gunk up the hose or some of the little components inside of that pesticide sprayer the pump or anything so I wanted to make sure that I flushed it out with a ton of water so that that's what I did just to make sure I was able to use that on my next mural. So hopefully all this information helped you out in determining what to do for your mural the next time you want to figure out how to protect it. I'll have all that information and links in the description and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.